Benny Hill was branded politically incorrect. A new generation of comic pretenders attacked the ageing star. If they're really worried about obscenity, they should worry about real obscenities. I mean, while Ben Hill's chasing the girls round the car park, there's girls who are scared to walk out at night after dark because there's no street lighting. So, I believe there should be censorship. I, there's lots of things on telly that offend me. I mean, you know, like when a comedian can end every single programme tearing off a woman's clothes and then chasing her around a park in, a, in her underwear, like uh, that, for me, in a world where women can't even walk safe in the parks, is, is pretty, pretty worrying. Well, what do you think of these handles like new comedy, alternative comedy? I mean, do you dismiss that? Or, or, how new is it? Not really. I don't, I, I don't know whether it's new or not. I mean, uh, the only definition I ever had for alternative comedy was it was uh, non-racist and non-sexist, which people sometimes think, oh, what a boring idea. But I actually think it's quite a good idea, because I think that actually makes for better comedy. Because if you can't use all the tiled old stereotypes, if you think, no, well, I'm not doing jokes about Irish people being stupid. I'm not doing jokes about women's bodies being amusing. I've got to look for something else. Then uh, I think sometimes you might come up with a more original sort of joke, you know. Are these lentils South African? Well, <laughs> you bastard! You completed out a bastard! Non racist and non sexist. Non racist and non sexist. <laughs> I mean, these days, rapping has got very. Rapping stuff's superb now. There's a lot of women involved. It's terrific stuff. But for a while there, it went well off the rails. I mean, for quite a while, some of the rap lyrics I was listening to on top of the pops, I mean, the position of women seemed to be firmly horizontal. You know? The sexual politics was kind of sub Benny Hill. It was weird stuff. I'm a sexual weapon and my loving so cool. Every woman in the world wants a taste of my tool. <laughs> I'm the best to get the rest. If you don't, you're a fool. Because I'm at 86 positions and I'm hung like a mule. No? <laughs> what is all that about? Two days after the death of Frankie Howard, fans are mourning the death of another great comic, Benny Hill. He died of a heart attack at his flat in southwest London. Benny Hill's career spanned decades. His blend of slapstick and innuendo had endeared him to millions. He was a cult figure in the United States and Japan, although his television show in Britain had been dropped after criticism that his style was sexist. Comedian Benny Hill died yesterday of a heart attack. He was 67. Hill was the first comic star of British television, and his show became a cult favorite in this country in the 1980s. La mort du comédien britannique Benny Hill, crise cardiaque. À 67 ans, il était considéré comme le roi de la comédie coquine anglaise. Now we can deal with something which is sort of a current uh, controversy, really, uh, featuring you. We're all mourning the death of uh, two great comedians, but in particular Benny Hill, and you seem to have got interlinked, interwoven with it's, him. It's absolutely beyond me. I, I, I have to say, I, I, I mean, I wanted to bring this up because yeah. I, I, f I feel very offended and upset that in all the obituaries, um, well, a great many of them, yeah. particularly the ones in the heavyweights, it's yeah, funny the how suddenly the yeah. front page, that, that my, uh, once, years ago, I, we were, there was a discussion about uh, comedy and, and role models, and we were talking about my, I prefer Carry On, because I think that the women in Carry On have, have strong comic characters of their own. Yes. And to yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Nice day. laughs> uh, Non-racist and non-sexist. Right? And to use just women in, in a titillating set, we were talking about that, and I made mm. one quote, I, I'm not that strong an opinion on Benny Hill for years, I don't think I've said anything about him. Yeah. And I feel that, that a lot of journos... But you did say that him chasing women around a park is no good in times when there's rapes going yeah, on. Yeah, that was a, a sentence taken entirely out of context. I do believe that, uh, for my, I don't tell anybody else what to think, and I know I, 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 I'm second give, to no give, one in my ideas of how, of how I think. Yeah. And I think that although Benny Hill's clearly a very decent and, 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 and a very wonderful comedian in many ways, not my favourite, but I like a lot of what he did. I, I do <laughs> think that for journalists to use the death of a great comedian to, to vent their spite and, and exercise their own personal prejudices, I mourn his death. I don't know if they did. I don't, didn't notice the Independent having a bring back Benny Hill when Thames axed yeah. him. Again, which apparently was mine. Apparently the, uh, the powers that be at, at Thames actually... Uh, you know, well, they watch Wogan and three years later they say, Ben Alton told us that, you know. Well, they were, I have no agenda what, on this. What thing. happened, Ben, was the Thames did decide to drop him, and it was because of a climate of criticism of the Benny Hill show, some of it uh, justifiable criticism, but. Uh, I would imagine. Which you were part of, weren't you? Well, in one conversation, but uh, a very, a very, very small part. And to find myself named solely and singly as yeah. a representative of some kind of yeah. politically correct generation. Yeah. I mean, what, what I do, I allow my work, I hope, to speak for itself. I very rarely comment on other comedians. That was one occasion. Yeah. It was a wide discussion about Carry On, Benny Hill, etc. God, the times I've been asked to appear on, on a chat show with Bernard Manning or something, I won't do it because why let our work speak for itself and that's yeah. that. I well, do not have an agenda on Benny Hill and I deeply and bitterly resent being being written about as if I somehow didn't like the guys, if I somehow wanted his career to end. Well, I certainly didn't. 